Hello again, a mixture of sunny spells and heavy downpours yet again for us today. It may be the first day of August, it will feel more like April. Not a bad start for central and eastern parts of England. Plenty of sunshine first thing, a fresh feel in the air in places. But come further north and the showers are already, in fact, some of them haven't disappeared overnight. They're still going. Some heavy downpours about for the north and the west through the morning, but for many places, those showers will develop as we head towards the afternoon. Showers becoming widespread and increasingly heavy and frequent. Those downpours for Wales, the Midlands, northwards, come with the risk of hail and thunder. Some very potent outbreaks of rain out there, but not everyone will catch one of these showers. For the far southeast and for parts of East Anglia, actually, we'll enjoy plenty of sunshine. And away from the showers, temperatures will just about manage 23 or 24. That's warmer than it's been for some days in this neck of the woods. Later on Tuesday, then, the showers continue for a time. Again, the risk of some very lively downpours out there. Could see some hail and thunder continuing into the evening, but once again, they'll be very hit and miss out of the showers, pleasant end to the day for many, and increasingly that fine weather will become more widespread. A ridge of high pressure builds in for Tuesday night, but it's only building in because low pressure in the Atlantic is forcing it up over the UK, and that low pressure soon moves in on Wednesday morning, bringing with it thickening clouds, and for Northern Ireland, Wales, southwestern parts it's going to turn wet during Wednesday morning. Outbreaks of rain eventually cross the whole of the country during the day. The far north and northeast of Scotland largely staying dry until later on. Some sunshine here, not too bad, but further southwest. That's where the wettest weather and the windiest weather will be. The winds really picking up towards the end of the day, a risk of gales for exposed coastal locations. With all that weather going on, of course, temperatures aren't going to even reach the August average. It will be disappointingly cool for July. 20 degrees at the very best.